So, do you want to talk about something specific? Uh, sure, I'll do it in 16 seconds. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I dated someone, I fell in love, we were trying to have a baby, it turned out he was a con man, he stole from me, he lied to me, cheated on me, um, we broke up because of that. Ten weeks later I found out he was engaged to another friend of mine and it turns out she is now the fifth person in my community who's doing this too. I was the third. And so when I think about him or I'm going to a place where he might now potentially be, it, I want him to die. <laughs> Not, not really, not, not really. But I, if they crashed and burned, that would be okay. <laughs> and it's, and it's hard. Uh, but, but it really did open up. To, it really did unfold well. We really were in love, and that was really lovely. And now there's other many amazing men and opportunities coming into my universe at just so, the right time. But, so, but that part of it's hard. Ha so having having lived that experience over a period of a little bit of time, mm -hmm. what's the if if we were if you could give us one uh, or at least a brief emotional description what is it of the experience itself was it i was betrayed or was it i was duped or was mm -hmm. it i was unaware was it my guidance wasn't in tune in other mm -hmm. words who are you beating up on more him or you uh yeah it, it, it's the guidance. It's because it felt so good in the All right. beginning. So, so, <clears throat> so, are you saying that it's it's wrong to fall in love? Of course. Is that wrong guidance? Are you saying that? Are you saying that there were no elements of what's in your vortex present in this person? There, there certainly were. So, what you're saying is, but there were elements present in that person mm -hmm. that you you missed. Right. And. And as a result of missing them, so so those so those the con the con man <laughs> taking advantage of you, right. uh, um, culmination. You didn't see it in the beginning. Right. Do you believe it was active in the beginning? Well, I mean, he lied about every every everything that he said that he was like a serial business owner. That was just all completely untrue. He actually had never done any of the things he said he had done. But he had come to me through my community. Which well, the is, reason the reason that we're so, asking yeah. the questions is because we want to help you to shore up mm -hmm. your mm, belief in yourself right. in what you are attracting. Mm -hmm. And uh, has anything like that ever happened to you no. before? <laughs> So, no. <laughs> so, and are you telling us that you, that you are, uh, you, do you believe that you are continually moving up in the world in, in terms of finances? Oh, yeah, yes, I Do am. you believe that you will always be at the heart of multi-million dollar enterprises? Yes. Do you believe that you'll be out in the world where there will always be all kinds of others who are attracted to you for all kinds of reasons yes. <laughs> do you believe that sometimes they're attracted to your heart sometimes they're attracted to your vibration sometimes they're attracted to the shiny things you have around you mm -hmm. sometimes they're attracted to what you might offer to them in other words there are all kinds of reasons that that people m target you or focus on you mm -hmm. so so do you believe that an experience like this has left you feeling more guarded or less guarded um uh, more I'm tightening in my ranks a little bit so not, not a ton but a bit well the reason that we are asking that is because a, a an experience like this serves you enormously well mm -hmm. in these ways if you can acknowledge that there are many aspects that were a positive match for you mm -hmm. and some aspects that were not a positive match for you but in the attention of what was the positive match you opened the door and got more of it that's what it feels like like to you isn't that what it feels like to you that she got way more than she bargained for you liked the beautiful you liked the sensual you liked the appreciation of you there was so much of it that you did like right. but you didn't like the some of the other aspects of it right. so we would like to submit to you that this person represents your contrasting environment at large because within every particle of everything is wanted and unwanted mm -hmm. now in what 
you, who is an avid student of what we teach and have been for many years, what you would think that what that we are saying. We're going to clarify this just a little bit. But you might say that in a perfect world, you would extract only from another the parts that you want. And we would say in a vibrationally accurate world, in a vibrationally deliberate world, mm -hmm. it is that way. So how do you think you are going to become in terms of co-creating and relationships really vibrationally accurate about what you want? <laughs> oh, yeah, sifting through the contrast. And, and isn't that contrast important for the clarity? It is. So, so we can feel you all at ease with all of that. Mm -hmm. and, and so now this is the piece that we really want you to hear. Don't come away from this feeling guarded. Come away from this feeling more knowing. Come away from this feeling sure of who you are, not less sure of who you are. That's the only ripple in your vibration because there are plenty of those for you to sift and find, you see. Mm -hmm. It's not about missing something. It's about clarifying something. So we would like to say to you that this experience was more about bringing clarification to you about many more things that are in your vortex than about the subject of relationships. Okay. Did you hear that? I did. Much, much more clarification in that exposure to that experience. Mm -hmm. Let's say it in an even stronger way. That person did not come to you to give you clarity about how to find the perfect mate. Mm -hmm. That person came to you to give you clarity about how to know your place and hold your vibrational space in this world that is formulated around you.